This is a 1948 International KV-8 SB with a 361 red diamond engine in it. It's a big old huge straight six flat head. Has this pop out on it that, well, for the life of me, I don't know where it was put on. Some kind of modification that I was never able to find who exactly produced the body on this. It appears to be some kind of carriage coach type of modification. And then it has been converted into a house or a living, living structure. It has a full bathroom and back and everything. It actually rides real well. I've drove it a couple times. I don't got any gas in it today. I did for the other video. This here is the motor. I put a brand new fuel pump on it, which was extremely difficult because the fuel pump that goes in this particular model was only made for this particular model in this one year courtesy the fuel pump came courtesy of Daytona parts in Daytona Florida very nice people and they had their hands on the fuel pump inside of two minutes it was amazing I was astounded this is a uh, retrofit alternator 160 amp alternator I got some new fan belts on there and the fuel the water pump appears to be in good working order you got a AA1G carburetor that was originally started manufacturing in about 1927 and has been modified and upgraded along the way and this is, this is a model that was produced in 1947 and ended up on this vehicle. It appears to be the stock carburetor. I took it off and cleaned it up a little bit here and there but uh, getting a replacement has been problematic. It is see, it appears to work all right, but I'm not sure that the governor dia governor is working properly. Well, you don't run an engine this old up against the governor just to check whether or not the governor works. This uh, has been converted into a living structure. We've got the steering wheel for it. It's sitting right down there next to the stick shift. As I said, this bus actually does run, but of course, there's a stove where the driver's seat goes. We don't actually have the driver's seat. Currently being used as my friend Hippie, who is the actual owner, as his man cave. It's dark as heck back in here, but I guess that's what we get. Well, bathroom is totally full of storage but there's a standing shower in there this is a this there's a couch there that folds down into a bed it actually functions amazingly enough but it is a very uncomfortable bed yeah that's an old speedometer it reads 88,453 miles there's only the uh, engine R revs counter reads at 674 and that's times 100,000 revolutions now it looks like it's done 600 million revolutions huh? I don't know it's quite a few <laughs> Anyway, beautiful swept fenders. This damage you see on the grill was done while well, it was being moved by a prior owner. We are currently looking for a replacement grill. Has a little red emblem that's supposed to go there. It's missing. The lights actually all work on this thing. And uh, the undercarriage is in reasonably good condition, which kind of leads me to suspect that the uh, 88,000 on the odometer might actually be real miles. There's the dog score. He's a fun guy. Always wants to race, but that bus just ain't racing. 
As I said, she fires right up and purrs like a kitten. As you can see on my other video, amazingly enough, this vehicle was bought for 700 bucks, and then, well, put about four or five hundred bucks worth of parts in her, and you need to find a driver's seat for it now, I guess. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye.